Hi, it's Tarrant. And Stella from Meeple University on the Dice Tower. Today we'll be teaching you how to play the Golden Ticket Game, a game designed by AC Atienza and published by Buffalo Games. Hopefully after watching this video, you'll be ready to play the game. Let's get to the table. The brilliant but mysterious chocolatier Willy Wonka will be opening his factory to a lucky few. The catch? You have to find a golden ticket hidden in one of his chocolate bars to gain entry. Now the hunt is on as you move around the board gaining money and cards and exchanging them for Wonka bars, hoping for a chance to claim that golden ticket. The game will end once there are no Wonka bars left in the supply and any player or players who have found at least one golden ticket will get to visit Wonka's factory and win the game. To set up, take a number of golden tickets equal to one fewer than the number of players in the game. So if you were playing a four player game, you would take three tickets. Place each golden ticket inside one of the Wonka bars, hiding it underneath the bar in this little slot available for it. Then slide the bar into one of the wrappers. Then shuffle the winning bars in with all of the others, making stacks accessible to everyone. You won't use every Wonka bar which comes with the game. Your total supply should be 34 in a 2 player game, 41 in a 3 player game, 48 in a 4 player game and 55 in a 5 player game. Even at 5 players you should have 5 left over. Next lay out the 9 location tiles in numerical order from number 1 in the top left through to number 9 in the bottom right. In your first game you should use the simpler purple coloured side A but in subsequent games you can use the more advanced gold coloured side B. You can even use a mixture of side A and side B tiles if you wish with the only rule being that if there are any side B tiles then the city square at position 5 must also be on side B. Now place the Willy Wonka pawn on space 3, the Wonka factory gates and keep the purple Wonka die nearby. Each player now chooses which of the five main characters from the classic film they wish to play as, taking that character's player board. Take money equal to your allowance and place it into your wallet. Different characters will start with different amounts of allowance, with of course the wealthy Veruca Salt having the most and the poor Charlie Bucket having the least. Don't worry though, the characters also have their own special abilities which will balance this out. Now place all of the player pawns on location 8, the classroom. Shuffle up all of the Wonka cards and place them on the draw deck space. And then deal 6 starting cards to each player. All players now look at their cards. You'll choose a first player and that player must discard two cards to the discard pile to finish with a starting hand of four. All other players discard only one card for a starting hand of five. You're now ready to play. The golden ticket game is played in turns going clockwise around the table. When it is your turn you will first use the cards in your hand to take two actions. These can be to move to use the text effect printed on a card or to refill your hand up to four. You are allowed to take the same action twice on the same turn. Once you've finished your two actions you check to see whether you're on the same space as the Wonka pawn and if you are you get a free bar and move Wonka based on the die roll. Play then passes to the player on your left. You'll continue taking turns in this way around the table until the last Wonka bar has been taken from the supply. The game will end immediately and players will check their Wonka bars to see who's won. So now let's look at each of these actions in more detail. Your first option is to move your pawn and to do this you must discard any one card from your hand to the discard pile. It does not matter what is printed on that card. Then move your pawn one space, up, down, left or right. You cannot move diagonally but you are allowed to share a space with another player's pawn. After you've finished taking your move you may then resolve the location action printed on your new location. Here for example gaining four dollars. 
the location action does not count towards your two actions for the round. Resolving it is considered to be part of resolving your movement action. You are only allowed to resolve a location action immediately after you've moved there. If Charlie wished to resolve this action again, he would need to leave the space and then return, resolving it after his subsequent movement. Your second option is to play a card from your hand to resolve the text effect printed on that card. When you do this, you play and leave the card in this area underneath your player mat. You do not place it into the general discard pile. There are three different types of cards, indicated by their colour and icon. These are sweet cards, which can gain you some good bonuses if you plan them out properly. Mystery cards, which primarily help you gain more Wonka bars. And rowdy cards, which help you disrupt other players' plans. Some cards are played in combinations, and so for a single one of your two actions, you could play one Scrum Diddly Umptious Bar to gain one Wonka Bar, or you could play two in a single action to gain three Wonka Bars. Some cards have the ability to move, indicated by the purple arrow. And when you do this, you move as described on the card, and may then resolve the location action at your destination, exactly as you would have if you'd moved normally. Some cards even require other players to make choices or take actions on your turn. Here, for example, you would gain $4, and then any other player could give you one card in order to take $2 from the supply. One important action which appears on both locations and cards is sweeping, represented by the broom. Let's consider this action, for example. Sweep three sweets to gain two Wonka bars. To take this action, you would need to discard any three sweet cards from underneath your player mat where you've played them previously to the general discard pile. Playing cards for their actions and then later sweeping them is generally a very good way to gain Wonka bars. The last option for one of your two actions is to refill your hand, and you will draw cards off the draw deck until you have as many cards in your hand as your hand refill limit, which is four. Since both of the other actions that you have available require you to spend or play at least one card, you will have to take this action if your hand is empty. Each of the five characters in the game also has a special ability, which may be resolved at different times on its turn. These abilities are not actions in their own right, so they won't count towards your two actions, but they will all trigger off something else which you do during your turn. Once you've finished with your two actions, check to see whether you are on the same location as Wonka. If you are, he gives you one Wonka bar for free, so take one from the supply and add it to your collection. Then roll the purple Wonka die and move Wonka to that location. If he rolls his current location, then he'll stay where he is. Wonka will roll and move only if a player has interacted with him. If he's on a space by himself, he will stay put until someone comes to visit. Do note that the Wonka die only goes up to six, and so he will spend the whole game in the top two rows of the board. Once you've checked for Wonka, and moved him if required, play passes to the player on your left. The aim of the game is to find a golden ticket, and to increase your chances as much as possible, you'll want to collect as many Wonka bars as you can. When you gain Wonka bars, keep them beside your player board, and don't peek inside them yet. You've got to wait until the end of the game to see who finds the tickets. Once the last Wonka bar is taken from the general supply, the game ends immediately, and it's finally time to check. All players now start looking through all of the Wonka bars they've collected to see whether they've found a golden ticket. If you find a ticket in one of your bars, then congratulations, you've won the game. If you find more than one golden ticket, all the better, you still win the game, but you don't win it any more than you already had. Remember, it's not about who's collected the most bars, it's about who's found the golden ticket. Charlie in the movie only opened three bars, but he still won his way into the factory. On the other hand, if you've opened all of the bars you've collected and found only chocolate, I'm afraid you haven't won the game, but at least you've had a good feed. 
For those who did earn their ticket into Wonka's factory, in your wildest dreams, you could not imagine the marvellous surprises that await you. But that will have to wait for another game. And that's how to play the Golden Ticket game. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you enjoyed the video, please help us by hitting that like button and subscribe to the Dice Tower if you haven't already done so. And if you have any questions, comments or feedback, please leave them in the comments section below. See you next time.